Hey, welcome back to another uh, Senna video. Um, today uh, I want to show you a Senna build that uh, that I am having uh, the most successful with uh, right now. Uh, this build consists uh, of three three core items. Um, there are times times in the description uh, to skip to the build part or the gameplay part. Uh, but first, uh, we uh, first I want to go over uh, some nerfs because Senna actually got some nerfs uh, in the next patch. Um, so yeah, the first thing that got nerfed is her Absolution uh, Mist Trigger damage. And I believe this is referring to her dealing 2% of their current health as bonus physical damage. Um, this is going down a little bit. I don't think this will impact her that much. Uh, like, sure, it's uh, unfortunate, but uh, it's not that bad. The thing I'm most worried about is her base attack speed growth is uh, getting a real, real hard nerf because before it was 2.2%, now it's 1.2%. So that's like an almost 50% uh, decrease in her attack speed growth. So I'm not sure how that's gonna feel, but uh, yeah, we just uh, have to wait. Another thing that got nerfed uh, is a core item of Senna. So Black Cleaver will, will get nerfed. Uh, now it reduces their armor for 5% for 6 seconds, stacking 5 times. Uh, in the next nerf, the armor reduction per stack will go down to 4% instead of 5%. But the maximum stacks are going up by 1 stack, so now you have 6 stacks. So I believe in total, what is it, 24, 25, so you only, like w w at full stacks, you only have a 1% uh, armor shred less. Yeah, it's, it, it's a nerf. Okay, it's <laughs> yeah, it's a nerf. But still, like, I don't think it's really horrible. But yeah, we'll just have to see how this feels. Uh, Black Cleaver is just a good item. So I, I actually don't know. Um, so yeah, those were the nerfs. And yeah, the next thing we're going to talk about is the build. So... Um, yeah, this is the build I'm having the most success with. Um, I'm now in like Diamond 3 or something and um, yeah, I'm not playing a lot, but uh, I'm just waiting for the Legend queue to come out. When the Legend queue does come out, I will be spamming this build, so uh, I think it's the best one right now. Uh, let's first go over the items. Black Cleaver first item, uh, then you build the Furious Redemption, or just Redemption, sorry, the Furious Boots of Fury is uh, not good. You have to go like this. Yes. Um, this is actually a mistake I um, I think I talked about before. Like the Boots of Fury, first I thought this was really good because it gave you movement speed when you attacked. But um, Black Cleaver uh, already has the same passive name. Uh, it has Rage, dealing physical damage, grunt movement speed. Uh, and the boots actually have the same, so they don't stack. Uh, that's why you just go back to the Ionian Boots of Lucidity uh, and then go for the Redemption. Uh, you can also go for the uh, Ionian or for the Locket. Uh, that's good as well. But uh, yeah, I just like the Redemption because you can also heal. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you can also deal damage with it. Um, but yeah, that's situational. Uh, second item, Surreal's Grudge for the uh, mostly for the passive. The armor penetration is good, but the passive that you're slowing enemies when you attack them is very good for chasing people. Uh, it's very good in team fights. It's just great CC, and yeah, Senna is the support champion. So items like this are uh, just work out really, really good, uh, really well. Third item is Infinity Edge, although uh, Senna's. Uh, Crit rate is, uh, what's it, the crit damage is reduced by 50%. We still build this item, um, because this makes the critical strikes deal more damage. Um, and if you build the third item, you, yeah, you probably have already a lot of crit, uh, uh, crit rate because of your soul stacks. So this is just a very valuable item. Uh, then Iceborne Gauntlet, uh, for the, uh, yeah, if you're up against more tanky champions, this is also an all round great item. Uh, and yeah, then Guardian Angel. So maybe in the next patch, if Black Cleaver is getting hurt, uh, yeah, it's just getting, uh, it's feeling really bad because of the nerf. Maybe we go Ice Gauntlet first item, 
Iceborne Gauntlet, the first item is also a good uh, situational item if you are up against a lot of tanky champions. But um, for now, like these three items are giving me just so much success. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that's just uh, my opinion, the, the best ones right now. Then I also just really like Kraken Slayer. Um, because Kraken Slayer forces me to play aggressive because I want those three stacks. I want to deal that extra damage. So <clears throat> it's not necessarily that I'm overstepping. It, it can happen like you can overstep and uh, make a mistake because you really want those that third hit, for example. Um, but this also, uh, this rune will really keep you on your toes because you do not want to miss out um, on the damage, right? So. Yeah, it can help maybe learn how to play Senna aggressively. Um, but if you're really a beginner, uh, I don't recommend this. Then just go for uh, the Grasp of Undying or Fleet Footwork. Those are both uh, great options. Weakness for the extra damage when you're impairing the movement with your second ability or when you have Sorrel's Grudge and you uh, slow them down with just auto attacks. Uh, weakness very, very strong. Depth of Care pays for the extra health, extra AR magic resist. Um, but yeah, you can also use Nullifying Orb or even Hunter Titan. Then Mana Flow Band, because uh, I'm not building any mana items except for Iceborne Gauntlet. Um, so yeah, it, for instance, if you are thinking you're gonna build Iceborne Gauntlet first item, then maybe don't uh, build Mana Flow Band and just go for Pathfinder or Hunter Genius or even Pack Hunter. Um, but yeah, I just like the Mana Flow Band because uh, Senna is quite uh, mana hungry, so yeah, that's the build. Uh, I hope you're having success with it. I'm having success with it, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, watch the gameplay right now. You are on the Yo. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you guys this gameplay because um, yeah, I just did did, did really well. Uh, I think I dealt over 40k uh, damage, so that's just a lot. Uh, even for Senna, that's a lot. So um, yeah, they're already playing very aggressive. Uh, I also want to go a little bit more in depth on how to play her, um, like in this matchup and uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, we're playing with Kaisa and we're up against the Lucian uh, and, the, and the Thresh. The thing you have to worry about is uh, try not to get caught by Thresh. <laughs> That's the only thing. Uh, and try to uh, dodge uh, um, yeah, Lucian's uh, abilities. All the meanwhile poking and uh, getting souls. Uh, so yeah, just auto attack, first ability, you get one soul. Uh, easy as that. Uh, the only thing that's worrying me is um, yeah, if Kaisa gets caught, like right here, there's not much I can do. The only thing I can do is uh, try to get stacks. <laughs> so yeah, it's very unfortunate that my second ability, the root, uh, hit the minion and uh, not trash. Yeah, what I did there was um, I had some Kraken Slayer stacks. Oh, can I get this one? Oh, I missed my, I missed my first ability, and I got exhausted. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So my mistake there was I uh, didn't um, aimed my first ability uh, like at Lucian. If I predicted his dash uh, and shot my first ability, he would have been he would have died. Um, but they also used exhaust perfectly. Um, but yeah, what I did there to catch the trash is I had two stacks of Kraken Slayer. So I just flashed, auto attacked, hit my third stack and the thresh was dead. Here we get some CC chain and trash. The damage of Kraken Slayer is really, is really helping me out here, especially in the early game against the thresh who has uh, like a lot of armor already. Because he's a tanky champion like that. Yeah, here I don't, I don't want to push the wave, but I also don't want to lose gold, so I am just uh, last hitting the minions. There, just first attack uh, of or auto attack first ability, get a soul, 
get some uh, damage on Lucian. So yeah, this guy side just has to play more careful. See, she's getting caught. Lucian is very strong. Here I'm um, using my third ability to uh, help Nunu make his open visible. Fortunately, couldn't quite uh, kill Thrash there. But this Nunu was really good. He um, he uh, ganked a lot this game and he just played really, really well this game. Kaisa is being very risky right now, but um, it should be fine. No, she just gets hit again. It's fine, I just pinged retreat. Well, <laughs> like I said, she's just playing aggressive, I guess. Uh, it's fine. Although I got the kill, it's uh, it's still fine. She's uh, behind and I'm uh, I'm not, so uh, yeah, for now I'm playing as the ADC, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this is what what can happen with Senna if your uh, ADC is like just making a few mistakes or something like that. It's definitely not the end of the world. Here I predicted uh, uh, Trash would uh, try to use his lantern to get. Uh, Lucian over here, so I rooted Thresh already. <laughs> For some reason I thought Galio was an enemy, so, so I <laughs> hit my root there, that was kind of bad, but... Uh... Yeah, just trying to stay out of range, but still I'm, I'm poking them, like I'm not uh, being afraid. So, if you get ganked like that, uh, for example by an... Uh, by the uh, Camille, like, you know she can uh, play around with the terrain a lot and you know she has that uh, sweep with her leg but if you just stay out of her range and walk in the middle of the uh, yeah of the lane then she's not gonna do then she isn't uh, going to do much and you can still uh, keep poking I saw Nunu was coming but unfortunately I couldn't hit my uh, Hit my root. The dragon is also almost spawning. Here I again root trash. Fortunately we didn't have, have vision. Nunu is doing Drake. We're just helping out. We know Lucian and, uh, and Thresh are probably in the tribush or something somewhere nearby. But uh, yeah he tried to steal but uh, our Nunu got, him, got it with the smite. so close so yeah as you can see I'm playing very aggressive and that's also because of the Kraken Slayer what I told you guys in the the build part of this video if you're playing Kraken Slayer you want those stacks um, and that's why you uh, you're playing quite aggressive Also another thing I'm having I already have above 40 stacks and it's five minutes into the game. So I know this game is going well. I knew the Galio was nearby, he's probably looking for ult. He is. I still have my ult. Yeah, I was hoping they would just go in. I healed up Kaisa. Now Camille's here, I root her, Galio knocks her up. I use my flash but she just still got away. Now I have no mana here so I'm pinging... Uh, I have no mana so I'm pinging to uh, retreat. I also don't know if... Uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, Vigar still had his ult. So we just had to be careful there. I want his minions and then I probably want to go back. Just use his third ability to get the extra movement speed. There again playing very aggressive and a new Kai'Sa was going back so I thought I'll just get the plan, get some mana back and uh, just clear this wave. Yeah, now I'm going back because Kaisa is here so she can clear the next wave. I'm hoping she doesn't go like 1v2, one, one but uh, you never know. Here they were, fi they were fighting. 
I used my ult to save uh, save them both. And they uh, <laughs> got uh, got a double kill, so that's uh, pretty good. This is why, as a si as a uh, as a Senna, you always have to look at the map. Always look at what your teammates are doing. Are they fighting? Are they in trouble? Because your ult can save a lot of people like that. Here, I wanted to uh, like hit the hit the vision fruit or fit vision plant. Because your first ability can actually hit uh, hit the invisible plan. Here, guys, again was getting nerfed, uh, was getting hit, but this should be an easy kill. Missed the first ability. <laughs> I don't know why Galio decided to just ult in like that, <laughs> but uh, it's fine. I saw Camille's here. Maybe we can get it too. Again, I'm using the third ability on Nunu to surprise the Camille. I actually love this combo and I don't know if I told you guys already about it or not or but if Nunu is using his snowball and you will you and you use your third ability, the mist, to um, make Nunu also into like what's it called, a mist wraith or something like that, uh, the snowball will actually be invisible and the enemies will only see like the crawling zombie uh, thingy. So it will, it can really catch uh, enemies by surprise if you do it like that. That's why I, I really love playing with Nunu, uh, Nunu players. Nunu is uh, playing 1v2 in the jungle. They're coming to us. Yeah, the stretch. If he can can catch me, then uh, it's an easy kill. I also really like playing against tanks when playing Senna because tanks usually don't uh, care much if they get hit, right? Because they're so tanky, they're like, why why should I care? Uh, but this, this means that you can actually get a lot of free stacks by just poking them. So at this point in the game, I'm like analyzing, okay, what what champions do I need to be careful of, right? Right now the champions that are looking really scary are Camille and Vigar. Because if Camille ults me, I'm probably dead. If Vigar ults me, I'm also probably dead. So a thrash, like I can I can move around Thrash's abilities. I probably can dodge a hook or dodge his flay, uh, his third ability, but um yeah, and uh, the ults of Camille and the ults of Vigar are just point click. Like Vigar point clicks his ult and it just deals massive amounts of damage to my head. Uh, the same thing goes with Camille. She can just ult me, she traps me and I'm probably dead, so. Yeah, use the redemption and the ultimate. Like this, this Garen is no problem for me because the Brutus of the Kraken Slayer. Unfortunately, I did get hooked by Tress there, and as you can see, I'm almost dead. Yeah, I am dead. I was really looking for uh, a kill on uh, on the Lucian because he was getting really low. Couldn't quite finish off the Vigar there, but still got him. So yeah, 10 minutes into the game, or 11 minutes into the game, I'm at... 79 stacks, so almost 80. Um, so yeah, if you're to every 20 stacks, stacks on Senna, you get a lot of. Uh, you're getting really strong. So at 80 stacks, I am really, really strong, uh, and especially at 12 minutes into the game. So I know I can just deal. I can play more and more aggressive. Like I said, I just need to be careful for the ults of Vigar and Camille, and also the ult of. Garen, now that I think about it. Yeah, that, that's just... I'm dealing so much damage. The Kraken Slayer is helping me a lot against these tanky champions. Uh, also, the Black Cleaver is reducing their... Uh, their armor resist, uh, or, the, or their armor, of course, but... Um, Yeah, 
But still, for now, the Kraken Slayer is helping me a lot against uh, Garen and uh, Thrash. And Nunu is also just hungry for kills. He's go <laughs> going after Feigar, as you can see in the top left corner, but uh, or top right corner. But yeah, Camille just got him. I tried to heal him up, tried to ult him, but uh, yeah, it's not happening. I ca I, I can't uh, 1v4 uh, or whatever. But I know this Lucian and this Vigar, I can just poke if I can poke them down, they're gone. Like I really can very easily uh, kill them because of, I deal so much damage right now. See, I, I use my root to uh, make sure they don't escape. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I flashed to get uh, the kill on Vygar there, so we could secure this uh, this mid turret. As you can see, this game is just going absolutely well for uh, for my team and especially for me. Like, it's so, yeah, I don't know. It it felt so easy. Here, Camille gets CC chained by Galio and me. First is knock up, then my root, then the taunt. So. Um, if you can do it like that, like follow your second ability up with other CC chains like this. Again, my route, then the knock up by um, what's it called, Nunu. You can just kill people so so easily. That's why Senna is very good and very strong. If you're playing with another uh, uh, another uh, what's it? like other ally champion who also have a lot of CC. So yeah, I have 9 kills, 19 assists, only 2 deaths. This build is just, I don't know, this build feels so natural or something for Senna. Like the 3 uh, three items like Black Cleaver, Cerildo's Grudge and uh, Infinity Edge. Look at, that, <laughs> look at that damage, that's insane. 3 auto attacks? No, no, sorry. 3 auto attacks and 1 first ability, just uh, Camille was half HP. That's insane. Of course, I also have like um, above 100 stacks, but still, that's so much damage. Right now, she ults me, which is quite unfortunate, but still, I could easily kill her, and I'm still half HP. Here, uh, the Garen ulted me. Yeah, that's what uh, I said earlier. Like, I also have to be careful for uh, the ult of Garen because that's also like an executing uh, ability, point click bomb, and I'm just. Dead or almost dead. Let's see if they can kill them. I guess they can. So yeah, 114 stakes, 15 minutes into the game. This is just uh, very, very good. And I wasn't really... Like the stacks I was getting from mid-game to this late game. I wasn't even really farming or with another champion who was farming. This, th these were all from team fights. And that's what you can do as a Senna, like if your team is fighting every time and no one's really doing any lane stuff, then just try to get stacks in a fight, in team fights. Here we tried to bait them uh, by doing Drake, but uh, they were just ignoring it. Only Thresh and Camille are there. They get Drake, but uh, yeah, we don't uh, really care. We got Camille as a kill. So if you can push this, they have no inhibited turrets. And, uh, yeah, just game over. My root hit him at the last, last second, so that's quite uh, lucky, I guess. Yeah, just picking up some souls. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed the gameplay. I think we're gonna finish it off right here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Again, I did 40,000 damage. That's so. That's that's a lot, a lot. So uh, 
yeah, I love this gameplay. I love the Senna build. I will be spamming it in Legend Q when Legend Q comes out in, what is it, two days or something, a day. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and yeah, I'll uh, see you uh, in the next video.